Ouch. Holy cow, I can't believe this is happening. Ouch. Laurie, are you okay? What's wrong? Lenny, I think I've literally got heartburn. Don't worry. I'll save you. Wait, where are you going? Well, it looks like she's gone. I'm back. I hope this will work. Lenny, could you literally stop for just one second? Please, just right now. What is it now? Are you all better? No, I am literally not all better. When I said I had heartburn, I meant that I had a terrible burning pain in my chest. You can't get rid of heartburn like you can put out a fire. Now, please go put that fire extinguisher back where you found it and help me get all of this fire extinguisher foam off of my body. Dang it, I didn't know. I am sorry about that, Laurie. Oh no, I think I am getting even worse. The fire extinguisher foam is making the pain worse. I'm burning up so much. I need to get Lisa's help. Lisa, could you literally please get in my room right now? I need your help, and it cannot wait one second. Oh no, Lori appears to be in grave danger. Hello, eldest sibling. What seems to be the matter? Lisa, I'm in serious trouble. I told Lenny that I had heartburn, and she literally thought she could get rid of it with a fire extinguisher. Now I have an even worse burning pain than before. I think the fire extinguisher foam chemicals have penetrated my skin by now, and I don't know if I'll last very long. Laurie, I'm back. Don't worry, I'll help get all of the fire extinguisher foam off of your body. Lenny, stop, do not touch the fire extinguisher foam under any circumstances. Toxic chemicals will penetrate your skin if you touch it. Oh, thanks for the fair warning, Lisa. I guess you saved my life. I'm going to have to take you to my room to get all of the foam off, only I have the protective equipment needed to keep all bystanders safe from touching or being touched by fire extinguisher foam. Thank you very much, Lisa. I can't believe you actually got all of the fire extinguisher foam off of my body. Those shots that I gave you should help neutralize all of the chemicals that penetrated your body. Now, you may return to your place of residence, street name, bedroom. Ouch. I still have heartburn. Do you think you could cure that right now? Unfortunately, no. I would be obliged to cure your heartburn, but I have deadlines with the Norwegian government that must be met now. I suggest you try chewing some gum. Okay, I'll try that and see if it works. Good luck on whatever it is you're busy with. Okay, all I need to do is get some chewing gum. What the heck? All of my chewing gum is literally gone. Lenny, do you have any chewing gum? I'm fresh out of it. Sorry, but I am also fresh out of gum. Oh no. I'm literally going to be stuck with heartburn forever if nobody brings any gum. Hey, Lori. Did you say you want some gum? I brought some here. What, really? Lincoln, you're literally a lifesaver. Here, just take it and start chewing. Whoa. This gum tastes like tomato soup. Really? Lincoln, I want to know where to get it. Now it tastes like roast beef and a baked potato. That's cool. I can't believe he got the kind that changes flavors instead of losing them. Now it tastes like blueberry pie and ice cream. That sounds great. Whoa, you look cool. I totes have to take a picture of this. You're totally pulling off the blue and round look. Wait, did you say blue and round? Look here. Oh my goodness. I literally look like Violet Beauregard. Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe I could get the brown hair dye, and then you would totes be pulling off the look. Lenny, don't you dare. Looking like a huge inflated blueberry is already enough. I don't need to have brown hair, because then it would be more embarrassing. Lincoln, what kind of gum did you give me? Let me look at the wrapper. 
Oh no, I gave you Willy Wonka's three course meal chewing gum. It always seems to result in the chewer blowing up like a blueberry. Oh, for Pete's sake. How dare you give me some gum without reading what it says on the wrapper? That's it, I'm telling mom and dad. Oh. Lincoln Marie Loud, how dare you give Lori some of Willy Wonka's three course meal chewing gum? Now she has blown up like a blueberry. Now we have to take her to the ER so we can get all of that blueberry juice out of her system. That's it, you're grounded 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 for 250 years. Go to your room right now. No 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 no.